Welcome seekers to your August 3rd daily energy tarot card reading. Today we are just going to try and uh, find the energies that are going to be surrounding you for the day and um, we'll see what's the best thing that you can do at this moment so that you can benefit from this day. So we're going to start with some tarot. We're going to use the star tarot. We're just going to throw three cards. Spirit, what are the energies that are going to be surrounding us today? What are those energies? Okay, wow. Um, so we've got some interesting cards. We've got the Justice card upright. And we got the Six of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Swords reversed. So the energies for the day are in some ways very, very balanced, right? So the Justice card talks to us about reaching a place of balance in life. So when you go out, when you, when you tackle today, right? When you go out into the world, you're going to notice that there's a lot of fairness going on. Uh, people are working on their projects. People are just going to seem a little self-absorbed. Uh, you know, they're just going to seem like they're getting somewhere and they're trying to get uh, to that place as effective as they possibly can be. Uh, this is the energy of just people trying to get by. And the reason why I say that, even though we've got such a wonderful uh, major arcana here talking about justice and balance, is because we've got the Six of Pentacles reversed and we also have the Five of Swords reversed. All right, so the Six of Pentacles is the, the card of charity, right? It's a charitable card. This is the card of the person that gives to others, wants to be of service to humanity. You know, here we have a Native American that has created a very beautiful, beautiful ornament. And now, you know, this Native American wants to give that beautiful thing away. And it's cost her a lot, right? It's cost her a significant amount of time and effort. She's just giving it away. So the fact that it's reversed tells me that there is a very kind of selfish attitude out there today. People are out there to just make their ends meet. They want to get to where they need to get to. They want to uh, try and reach fulfillment in their own personal pursuits. They're not worried about helping their fellow men. They're not worried about um, you know reaching out and, and, and trying to be of service to someone else. They're worried about themselves for today. All right? So... Five of Swords energy reverse, it's it's the card of, of fighting, it's the card of chaos, it's the card of conflict, all right? So, you know, with the Justice card, what we have here is a bit of a balancing message, and, and what that means is resolved conflicts. So, whatever conflicts were present before, or whatever conflicts are in the air at this moment, this is the kind of energy that says things will get better, uh, things can be resolved, conversations can be had to, to actually mend whatever situation, whatever conflict, or whatever drama has, has been present at this moment. Um, you know, it also talks about the, the, the dispossessed, the people that are potentially going through a rough patch, you know. Uh, these people will see a, a worse time, like, you know, unfortunately for people that are homeless, uh, for people that are just, um, you know, going through some very bad times, um, it seems like in some ways they'll make a little bit of progress, but in others they, they won't because of the Six of Pentacles reverse. So it's a bit skewed um, against them, you know. But um, all, all around what I'm seeing with this energy is an energy of success if you put your mind to it. If you dedicate yourself to, to your projects, to your goals, uh, to what you are ambitious, you will have success. That's the energy surrounding us. And uh, the Justice card is also the card of society, right? Society as a whole. So there is this sense of fairness in society today. There's, there's going to be a sense of letting you be, letting you prosper, letting you actually go out and get to where you want to get to. Um, you know, it's like there's an energy here of I'm going to get out of your way, but you make sure to get out of my way too. And if you don't get out of my way, then we're going to have some conflict, right, with this Five of Swords. Um, so you do you, I do me, right? We're, and we're both going to prosper together. That's kind of the energy that we have here with this Justice card, Six of Pentacles reversed, and this Five of Swords reversed. Now, we're going to throw some Oracle cards. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look and see what 
would be most, um, I guess, ideal for you to do at this time as you navigate with, uh, you know, through the day with this energy present. We're going to start with the Lover's Oracle. Uh, you know, a lot of your seekers love, <laughs> love messages, love readings. Um, I've done many pick a card love readings. So we're going to go ahead and uh, throw a Lover's Oracle card. And we're going to see what your loving message is for the day. Um, you can apply this to relationships. You can apply this to your marriage, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Let's see. In love, what message do we have here? So this is the artwork associated with your love message for the day. And we have a message for you. I'm thinking of you. This very moment, your love fills me with light. I love you. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so uh, there is an energy of, of, of I miss you. Okay, there's an energy here uh, of um, I'm thinking of you. So this is very, this is really, this is really beautiful. You know, this is for those of you that potentially are separated from someone or have a crush. Um, or pot potentially a secret admirer. Um, this is definitely someone. Someone is definitely thinking of you. And the, the energies when it comes to love for the day are of reminiscing, are of thinking of your crush. They're, they're, they're of thinking of the person that you love the most or care about, uh, cuddled up to that person. That's kind of the, the, the energies and the vibes going around for this day. That is nice. That is beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a little more advice. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna throw a self love oracle card uh, from Vanessa Chu. No, Janet Chu. Sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what advice we have here for you. All right. So you're being tasked to use some discernment for today. All right. There is no need to believe something that does not resonate for you. Personal truths can change as perspective shifts and expands. Right. Uh, so beautiful, beautiful message. Um, definitely a very transformative kind of message. Use discernment. You know, try and understand the energies that are present around you um, that are trying to, you know, help you. That are trying to maybe bring you down. Again, you know, we have a very we have a little bit of chaos here, right at the bottom. Six of Pentacles reverse, Five of Swords reverse. We have conflict. We have selfishness, but at the same time, we have that balancing message of justice card. So it's interesting because yeah, we have this, but we also have that. So there's also so there's a sense of where do you fall, right? Like what's going to what are you going to open your 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 life to? What are you going to open your energy to? Um, what, which one of these two are you going to receive? And so now it's interesting that we have this message here that tells you use your discernment, right? There is no need to believe something that does not resonate for you. Um, personal truths can change as perspectives shift and expand. So very interesting message. Very interesting. All right. So let's go ahead and throw another Oracle card. I like this. Uh, let's see what potentially should be your theme for the day. So for that, we're going to use the Animal Love Oracle. Let me show you guys the box. Animal Love Oracle cards. I love these. Uh, I love these Oracle cards. They're, they're awesome. So let's see. We're going to see maybe what the theme for the day is for you. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right, we've got the the Tucon. All right, I like this. the The keywords are extrovert, social, and being noticed. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So a little bit of advice on maybe how you can navigate this day. You know, don't be too shy to actually express yourself. Uh, don't be too too shy, or maybe shy is not the word, but you know, try and not be reserved, right? Try and be extroverted. Try and be social. Um, you know, being noticed. So this could be something that you, you spend a little time on social media. Maybe you, you post something up that makes you feel good, you know, uh, or potentially just reaching out to people that um, you haven't reached out before. Um, obviously, you know, we've got this beautiful, awesome, loving message right here, right? I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So this is a very interesting message right here. All right now we've got the two con extrovert social being noticed so definitely uh you know try try and adapt that kind of energy and um you might be surprised let's go ahead and get a message a further message from your ancestors we're gonna go ahead 
and throw an Ancestor Spirit Oracle card. And we're going to try and get a little more information here. So this is from Jade Sky. And um, it's going to be a message from your ancestors, all right? Message from your ancestors for August 3rd. What do we have? Earth magic, all right. Been getting a lot of these Earth messages lately. It's almost like if Mother Earth is calling uh, her children back, you know? I think that a lot of people have been really disconnected from Mother Earth, from, 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 from that green... Um, it's time to get out guys you know I, I, I keep doing readings and this this theme keeps on populating you know getting out into nature getting out into Mother Earth going out into the Sun finding a place a body of water finding something green a, a green forest you know this message just keep on keeps on coming up again and again and again so we've got here earth magic right nature rituals charms interesting so you know, for those of you that are very ritualistic in nature, you know, maybe this is the time to, again, keep that going. Maybe for those of you that, that used to do things before to feel centered and balanced and maybe you've delved away from that, you know, potentially it's time to, to go back to that, right? It's time to reach that balance again. Um, obviously, the Energies of the Justice card uh, beg you to do that. It's, it's inviting you to come back to what you used to know, to what brought you that balance, to what brought you that understanding that this is the moment right this is you're you're only here and you're only now that's it there's no there's no future there's no past right that's how you avoid anxiety that's how you avoid depression try and live for right now and so i think that maybe with this earth magic that's what's going to essentially bring you back into that reality that understanding so very interesting perhaps you should explore that all right, so that brings us to the very end of the reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much. I wish you guys the best for this August 3rd. Um, August is my birthday month, so I'm looking to have some fun, guys. Um, so thank you so much once again for watching. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying these daily readings. Obviously, this is something new that I'm doing. Um, I think 75% of you, I did a poll, 75% of you wanted this. So I'm um, interested. I'm interested to know how it's going, what you guys think. Comment down below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.